During winter quarter, we have students build their own PID controlled processes. And this is a video showing one of those processes a student team built. They take a PVC pipe here and built their own piston arrangement. And this piston raises a sample of water above a differential pressure transmitter. The higher that piston raises, the more hydrostatic pressure the water places on the transmitter, and therefore they can measure the height of the piston by the pressure signal. For the loop controller, we are using a programmable logic controller device here. This is a Koyo Click PLC marketed by Automation Direct. We have a special program put into it right now to do PID control. We had to do our own PID control routine. We have it communicating to this HMI panel. So this HMI panel allows us to change set points, switch between automatic and manual modes, and make tuning adjustments. Right now, the set point is at 40%, process variables at 39%, and the output is slowly integrating up. We can see right now we have a gain of 1.3 and a reset of 0.1 uh, repeats per second, a fairly fast uh, interval rate, and it's in reverse action. My current program right here is not actually a full PID, it's only PI. I haven't quite got to the D part yet. We had to build this program ourselves. And it also has a very crude trend graph we can display. So I'll show you what happens here when I change set point. We can make the set point go up to 50%. We'll clear it and enter 50. And when we do so, you'll see the piston rises. So that's an example of this PID control process. A little bit of overshoot and it came back down. We can take a look at our trend graph and see that oh, went by too, quick, too quickly. There we are at uh, 54 for process variable, set point at 50, and we're coming down very gradually and settling into position. I can also go to the trend display here and change my set point immediately from the screen. So for example, we could clear out the 50 set point and go with 40, and we can see here the response of the process over time. I need to slow down this trend display right now. It's much too fast for this process. It was designed for a motor speed control, which is inherently faster. I can go to a higher set point, let's say 60%. I can see the graph go up and then settle into its new set point value. Likewise, we can look at the piston itself and see it settle into its new set point value of 60. I can enter a new set point here. I'll go to 40%. And we'll see the piston immediately drop and settle into its new set point of 40%. So that's an example of a PID controlled process built by students and in this case the loop controller we're using is actually a small PLC with our own custom PID control routine or more properly a PI control routine because we're not using derivative at this point. And shut this whole thing down, I'm going to go to manual mode, I'm going to set my output to 20% and it brings the piston down nicely. I'll set the output here all the way to 0%, and we can hear there's less air being used, and our process is ready to be completely shut down by turning off the air valve.